You guys, I just got this text from our friends Maya and Kana down the road, and this is a reptile egg, but we have no idea what species it is. They were on their boat with some family, and they found, I think, a nest of reptile eggs of some sort that had been predated or something. So they found that egg, and then a couple more afterwards that they were able to salvage or save, and they're bringing them over to our house right now. So today we are, I guess, gonna do some spontaneous mystery reptile incubation. Oh, there they are. Oh. Hey! How's it going? Good. Good. So tell me the story behind these guys. So we were on our boat by the sand dunes. Okay. And we were walking up the big hill and we saw some a turtle egg or like a snake egg or something. Hmm. So we picked it up and brought it back and I decided to look to see if there was any more from the clutch around. And I looked and there was a, there was a whole bunch just scattered around. Oh my gosh. And like, it seems like kids tried to bury them or something. Oh really? And go down. There's the train. Okay, now it's there going. Like 40, 49. There's 49 eggs in there? Yeah. Oh my gosh. So what, so you found them in the sand and kids were playing with them. So they were like messing with the eggs, you think? Yeah. yeah. Gotcha. I thought it was a predator that had like eaten some of the eggs. I didn't realize it was people who messed with yeah, them. Yeah, natural kids. Oh, well. I'm... People were messing with them and digging them up. Aww. Just dumped them out. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I, mean, I don't know, maybe something would like come and eat them. Yeah, Probably if they were not... dug up, they were. Yeah. Not gonna hatch. Yeah, they're probably not like an egg eating mm. steak because, like, those are all the way in like Alaska, and Africa. Well, it's a good thing that you guys were there to find the eggs and salvage whatever you could. Yeah, oh my gosh, there's so there's one. Oh my gosh, that's a bigger egg than I thought it would be. Yes. There's another. And you take them out there. Oh my bigger. gosh, oh my gosh, they're everywhere in here. I wonder what they are. So there's all different ones. There's some that are pointier and some they're, that are super round. They're different shapes. Do you think they're different kinds of reptiles? They could be. Oh my there's gosh. Some that are maybe like birds. Birds. There's yeah. some that might be snakes and some that might be turtles. They definitely, because in the picture I was like, that doesn't look like a bird egg. It definitely looks like a reptile egg. Yeah. And they feel kind of squishy. Yeah. So they're definitely reptile eggs. My guess would be turtle eggs. Yeah. I'm gonna say my guess for this video, I'm gonna predict them to be painted turtle eggs. What do you guys think they're gonna be? Um, or a mixture? They're gonna be like map turtles. Ooh, map turtles, that's a great guess. I think I think painter too and I and maybe, maybe, who knows, maybe they could be a snapping turtle. Maybe yes. snapping turtle? That would be so cool, a bunch of baby snappers. All right, well, we can take these inside. Mm -hmm. They're heavy. Oh my gosh, it's so heavy. Okay, I can do this in, with my camera in one hand. And Okay, okay, we got it. I'll get you the container back when we have them in incubation. And there's oh some my gosh. on the bottom that's clear, more like clear, so I think they're in the sun for a little bit too. Okay. Earlier. Well, if some of them don't make it, we can always uh -huh. take them out as needed, but yeah. you saw veins in them? Yeah, I looked under a flashlight and the first one I saw had some veins in it. Oh, that's awesome! Mm -hmm. Oh, cool! I'll let you guys know when they start yeah. pipping. Yeah. Okay. And who knows when they um, were laid? Who knows? What, that's oh. what if they come out tomorrow? <laughs> that's true! That is very true! We'll have to keep an eye on them. They could have been laid last fall. That's a very good point, too. Oh, man. Okay, we're going to have to check these every day because we have no idea how old they are. <laughs> well, we'll let you know when they start pipping, and then you can come over and we'll figure out what they are. Yeah. How exciting. <laughs> 49 eggs. Can you believe it? Turns out these eggs were being predated by arguably the most destructive predator on planet Earth human beings. These were on a sandy beach type of environment and people or kids were taking these eggs, digging them up and throwing them around, which is just terrible. Due to the sheer quantity of eggs they were able to save and the fact that they were found on a jetty that was part of an island, I'm guessing that these are turtle eggs. But they could be any type of turtle, and since they were found all across this beach, they could be multiple species of turtle eggs in here. We have no idea. And we don't know how old these eggs are, how long they've been in incubation, and what are the odds that they were all laid on the same day, slim to none. This is gonna be a crazy adventure. Well, that is if they make it. If kids were throwing them around, there's not a... They might all die. Yeah, all these eggs all could die. also be 
dead if they were being thrown around. So Maya and Kana did their best to not rotate the eggs at all when they took them out of the sand and put them in this bin. But some of the eggs are slightly dented, some have odd coloration, so we're gonna have to keep a really close eye on these eggs and take out any that start going bad. But I'm not saying the dents or discoloration is Maya or Kana's fault. Girls, you did an excellent job saving the eggs that you could. I thought I was gonna be able to get by with just one incubation tray, but we grabbed three due to the number of eggs here. So we're gonna get started. I know that the fan who sent us these containers was intending for them to be used for baby snakes. I hope you don't mind that in this kind of emergency situation we're using them for turtle eggs instead. Even though Maya already candled a couple out at the beach, we're gonna candle a couple here in camera so you can see what they look like. And so we can, honestly. Oh, there's a, some cell growth, not a ton. I see a lot of yellow on camera. There's a red spot right there. Oh, yep, there is a red spot there. I see it now. Oh my gosh, it's yellow on the camera, but it's like red in person. Yep. That's really weird. That is not the color that that egg actually is, guys. So that is red, that is fertile. Those are the same. Yep, those are definitely from the same turtle. However. <laughs> This one doesn't really match the others. Weird, so that could be, maybe those are snappers and that's a painted. Sure. Maybe they're soft shell turtles. Maybe. That'd be cool. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, yep, you can see the veins on that guy. Right down there on the bottom half. Cool, so definitely fertile. It looks to me like these are recently laid. Yeah, very recently, they're everywhere. They are everywhere. <laughs> Again, it's definitely red in person. It looks bright yellow. Like, the color on camera looks like an infertile egg, but that is <laughs> red in person. Yeah. It's so weird how that shows up on the camera. So we're gonna go ahead and just put all of these in incubation. So should we put all the round eggs with the round eggs and all the oval eggs with the oval eggs? <laughs> yeah, we should probably separate them based on shape. Yeah, I'll grab you eggs and you put them in. Okay, we'll do ovals over here. And I mean, we're just gonna keep them in the same orientation as they are in the sand. Yep and hope for the best. All right, I've reached the bottom. <laughs> all right, they did a good job packing all those eggs in there. And the sand was a good idea to keep them all, you know. Moist. Yeah, moist and um, not rolling around. True. Keep them snug. All of the eggs are in. We managed to fit them into just two bins, but we have not counted them yet. Yeah, and there's obviously two different types of eggs here. Yeah, definitely. So we put all the spherical ones here. Some overflowed in here though, and we have uh, the oval ones, oblong eggs over here. Okay, how many of those do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 15. And then spheres, three, six, seven, 33. 33 and 15. So there's 48 little eggies here. Wow, okay, since now we know there's two species, do we get a second chance at guessing what we think they are? I mean, I never guessed. Oh, that's so. right. Okay, I originally said painted turtle, but I'm going to guess that the oblong ones are painted turtles and the spherical ones are soft shell turtle eggs. All right, I'm gonna guess the spherical ones are, I'm gonna go snapping turtle eggs because that'd be sweet to see that, little, that many little snappers and the oblong are map turtle. Oh, that's what Maya thought was maybe yeah, some I, map turtles. I think map turtle. There's oh. a lot of different species of map turtles. I don't know what, what species have elongated eggs like that. Oh, are you just guessing map turtle because there's three different types yes. of map turtles? Yep. So you have better odds of guessing I'm it right? I'm shotgunning it. Okay, so what species of map turtle do you think they could Doesn't be? Doesn't matter, map turtle. It's all up in the air right now, folks. So place your guesses. Ed and I have no clue what they are and I don't know how you could have any idea what they are at this point. So place your guesses in the comments below. I am super interested to see what everybody thinks. If it helps at all, they were laid in Wisconsin. So look up Wisconsin native species. Or Minnesota, I guess, since they were near the border yeah, there. Yeah, they were on the border. They so. were on the border. 
But the only difference between the turtle species in Minnesota versus Wisconsin is that Wisconsin has the ornate box turtle, and they're not box turtle eggs for sure. They better not be red-eared sliders, because those are invasive in our area. Yeah, well, if they're red-eared sliders, they're getting given to homes. That's true. We <laughs> won't release them if they're red-eared no. sliders. They're going to get adopted out if that's the case. Yes. But assuming these are native turtles, our plan is to incubate these away from all of our other eggs that are currently in incubation. But doing this is sometimes not legal where you live, so so if you come across a situation like this, make sure you call your local game warden so that you can ensure that it, what you're doing is okay. Uh, we called ours and ensured that we do have the proper licenses to do so. Yeah, we talked to them last year with the turtles. Yep, we called them last year, we verified this year, and everything's still the same, so we're good. But if this happens to you, make sure you check with your warden first. But if they hatch, which I don't know if they're going to, it's just terrible that kids were digging up these eggs and throwing them around. That's horrible to hear. But thankfully these eggs were salvaged and I really hope where they were collected from becomes a preserved area at some point. And I'm surprised it isn't right now. But if they hatch, then we will make a video of them hatching just like we did with those surprise painted turtle eggs last year. And if they don't hatch, uh, then we'll, we'll still update you in a future video to let you know that they just didn't make it. But at least this way we can give them the best chance possible. We considered leaving them in the sand, however, because of the trauma they've been through, we want them all to be exposed so that if some start going bad, we can easily pluck them out and discard them and keep an eye on all the good eggs left behind. So that was... An interesting, uh... Yeah, an interesting call. Yeah, an interesting text from Maya. Maya and Kena, you did a great job saving these eggs from the kids who were digging them up and throwing them around. And great idea of putting them in the sand so they wouldn't get jostled around on your way here. Kudos for saving these eggs, and I will let you know. I'll text you uh, when they, if, if they start hatching so that you can figure out what species they are too. So thank you, as always, to our Patreon backers for your support on this channel. You guys actually helped pay for the proper licenses for us to be able to do this. So thank you very much. And thank you to everybody who's watching our videos. And we'll keep you posted on these exciting, I think, turtle eggs. I really don't know. Hopefully they hatch so we can figure out what they are. And we'll see you next time. Should we write a, a marker on them? Or is it pointless at this? Yeah, just leave it. Now we normally write down the date they were laid, so how about laid, I don't know. It's mid-June right now, Yeah. so if they're fresh, then they should hatch in early September? Sounds about right. Yeah, something like that. Species. We don't know anything about them. Alright, let's go put those down in incubation and then you can keep signing coloring books. Oh, that's right. Tonight's the night we're signing all the coloring books because we just launched them and we have how many to sign? Uh, I think we've had a thousand that we have to sign. <laughs> I think we're signing a thousand. I'm already done with my portion. You're quicker at your <laughs> signature than I am. Ugh. By this time though, people will have already received the coloring books. Yes. Let us know if you like them. I hope you Yay. like them in the future, people. <laughs> right, goodbye. Bye. -bye.